Tonight, a family has questions about what happened in the moments before a man was shot and killed by a Houston police officer. That officer involved shooting was on Wednesday, and we now know the man's name, Jalen Randall. KPRC 2's Devin Clark is live with that story, and Devin Randall's family is calling for transparency. They are, Keith. Hearts are heavy tonight, and you can see the emotion laid out here on the ground at this memorial for Jalen Randall. His family says he should not have been shot. HPD says an officer had to shoot him. He had a big heart. All he cared about was his daughter and just living life. <laughs> Emotions are running high over the death of 29-year-old Jalen Randall. You run around here killing our people. Accountability breeds responsibility. Randall was shot and killed by an officer in East Houston Wednesday while trying to arrest him on three felony warrants, aggravated assault, felony evading, and felon in possession of a firearm. Officials say Randall jumped out of the passenger side of a vehicle that had fled from police, and an officer was forced to shoot. When the suspect exited the vehicle, he had a bag in his hand, and one officer discharged his weapon as he was approaching. That suspect was struck. Houston police say a semi-automatic pistol was found in the bag that Randall was carrying. But Randall's family and advocates say the shooting was unjustified because HPD had no idea a gun was in the bag before the shooting. When you have a warrant, that means you're to be arrested, taken to jail, and taken before a judge. The police should not be the arresting agency, the judge, the jury, and the executioner. Randall's family wants the officers involved fired and the dash cam and body cam footage released immediately. HPD says that those officers that were involved in this have been placed on administrative leave as standard procedure in this ongoing investigation. Reporting live in East Houston, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News.